Hi, I'm Josh Farley of Far Out Tiny Homes, and today we're gonna teach you how to prep your shipping container and make it ready for paint. So let's grind some rust. A key component to check when you're purchasing your container is the level of rust, the dents, um, how frequently the container has been used, because this is going to save you a substantial amount of time in prepping the unit for paint. Um, what you see here is kind of the aftermath of taking off some of the rust. We do this with a wire uh, bristle pad or a grinding wheel. And we come and we take out the rust and it allows a better surface for the primer and the paint to adhere to. Um, if you wanna walk with me, we're gonna take a look at some of the rust and what it looks like before we grind it down. So as you see here, uh, these containers are flaky and this doesn't really create a great surface for paint or primer to adhere to. So we take the grinder and we grind this out so it has a smooth finish. And then we prime and paint. What you see here are two options for grinding off the rust and paint. This right here is a wire bristle um, wheel that we put on and it's it's extremely aggressive it takes off the flakes and allows you to get into the uh, a lot of the little crevices um, this grinding wheel here whoo, be nice to your tools too this grinding wheel here allows for a lot of the flat areas um, it it's just as aggressive as the wire wheel but um, it vibrates less and it's more comfortable to use especially if you're doing a 40 foot container Another key component of grinding will be your ear protection. Um, it is relatively loud and we suggest a high decibel uh, headphone versus the plugs. Um, this eliminates more sound and is much safer for you. So also we, we do suggest having some kind of face protection um, for the dust. We work outside so we tend to grind with the wind blowing it away from us. Another thing when you're grinding metal will be wearing long sleeves. Um, the rust and paint that flakes off uh, and dust, it can cause skin irritation. So long sleeves, long pants, and, and stay protective. As you can see, Josh is getting into the corners using the wire bristle brush. This is going to enable him to get into all those little crevices where rust can potentially hide out. Now you see Josh using the regular grinder to grind off mass amounts of rust. This one is less aggressive, but in no way does it mean is it an inferior tool. It's a bit of a slow go with this one, but again, don't apply much pressure and just let the tool do its work. The more pressure you apply, the quicker you're going to have to replace that grinding head can see Josh sticks to a portion on the container until all the rust is gone, taking his time going over the same place a few rounds. There's no need to quickly move about this. You want to make sure you get all of that rust off because as we all know, rust can spread like cancer. So do your due diligence here. The easiest way to get these industrial stickers off of the containers is to heat them up first. We learned this technique by spending way too much time scraping and scraping all of these stickers off. So now let our experience guide you, save time, save energy, and just grab a blowtorch. We'll link the exact tool that we use in the description. It's not a high priced item, but man, does it save you some time. Here's an example of a perfect sticker. As you can see, it is one piece. There's no ripping or tearing. Josh is going to easily heat this sticker up and just watch how easy and quick it is to peel off. Hey, that wraps it up for us today. It's hot and we're gonna go home and jump in the pool. If you like the content so far, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. It will help us out tremendously in making this movement move. Have a wonderful day.